What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of upcoming mods for Fallout 4. This is a series where I show you guys some different currently work in progress mods for the game of Fallout. These are made by different mod authors. I do link everything I do show you down below. So definitely click on some of those links, especially YouTube videos and Nexus posts. It is really important to help out some of these mod authors. They are doing all this work for free. So a quick like or even just a subscription on YouTube or an endorsement on Nexus can go a really long way. With that being said, if you guys do enjoy my content, I do encourage you to consider subscribing so you can see more of this series but with that we'll just jump straight into it the first mod I am going to show you is the All-American by Deadpool 2099. So of course the All-American is one of the custom variants of the service rifle that did appear in Fallout New Vegas. Deadpool 2099 is working on a few different guns now. Basically one is the service rifle as we do know it. Another one is the assault carbine which was kind of a similar to the service rifle variant that did also appear in Fallout New Vegas. It did come with the Gunrunners Arsenal DLC. Again the two guns are very similar and they are meant to be so in the two mods that Deadpool 2099 is working on. Again, he's going to release them as two separate mods, but the attachments will be interchangeable. So then finally, we do have the All-American. Did appear in Fallout New Vegas as a unique variant for the Marksman Carbine. So I imagine this is going to ship with the Assault Carbine out of the Service Rifle and Assault Carbine 2 mods. All around, it is looking very promising. A lot of people really loved the All-American. I personally used it because it was just such a powerful weapon and something that was really practical to use throughout Fallout New Vegas. It was one of the best Assault Rifles you could get in the game. And of course, you always did have a ton of 556 five, ammo that you were getting through the NCR. So you always had a good amount of ammo and I just think a lot of people really loved this weapon. So we do have the Mark 41 Gyrojet 51 Cal HMG. This is a work in progress mod by the Rizzler 1, the same mod author behind the M2045 Magnum Revolver Rifle. Another very cool mod. That's actually one of my personal favorite mods for Fallout 4. I just think it's one of the most unique and cool lore friendly weapon mods we do have right now. And it seems like this is going to be another one that falls into that category. I did show you a bit of the Gyrojet a few months ago. It was a much earlier state. Regardless, the concept behind this is it's actually going to fire rocket propelled bullets. This is something that does exist in real life. Basically the way it works is it's a bullet that does have a rocket on the back of it, giving it some more stopping power and all around just having some different effects than typical bullets. In addition, it's also going to have some different explosive ammo types to just spice it up like a normal fully automatic explosive heavy machine gun. This is meant to be a prototype field, so supposed to be something that's used in power armor, although you can use it out of power armor. And all around, I think it looks very cool. The concept behind it again is very special. So for that, he did develop a custom ammo type that is going to appear with the gun. And by appear, I mean you could actually see the rockets being fired out of the gun and they do have their own custom frame and textures and all that. This is one I'm definitely excited for. I really did enjoy the M2045, especially with the latest update having that larger bullet in the middle. It just really is a unique and cool weapon mod that, again, fits into the lore really well, which I feel like is a nice addition to any weapon mod. The Gyrojet is something that is going to fill in a category of mods we don't have much of, that in heavy machine guns. And with that totally cool and unique ammo type, I think it's going to really stand out and be a very popular mod among a lot of people. So then we do have Cross Crits. I imagine that's a work in progress title, not the final one. It is going to be by Nero, who has made the whole Cross series of mods. Basically, what this is going to be is a change to the way crits are handled by Fallout 4. Basically, the visuals of what happens when you do critical hit someone. As you can see, they are on fire and kind of in a skeletal state. It definitely looks a lot more interesting. I'm not really sure, again, how it's going to be implemented outside of it just being a crit. I don't know if it's only going to be with projectile based weapons. I guess if you melee weapon someone to death and they kind of burst into flames, it'd be kind of cool, but I'm not sure that's as practical but critical hits are something so fundamental to the game that someone taking an approach to them to see how they can modify them and even make them a little better I think it's something I'm very excited for I really like a lot of those fundamental changes that change maybe one small aspect of the game but it's something you see so often that it has a much larger effect I don't know what the goals or aspirations of this mod are going to be but it definitely seems like something that could fall into that category so for that I am definitely excited so now the update that a lot of you guys probably clicked on this video for, the one that is in the title, that's going to be Fallout for New Vegas. Over the past few weeks and even months, I have showed you a work in progress mod called Fallout New Vegas in Fallout 4. While it has since been renamed Fallout for New Vegas, as well as a number of other updates have come with it. After my previous video on it, some of the people behind Wasteland Overhaul did reach out to me looking to get into contact with the mod author behind Fallout New Vegas in Fallout 4. I didn't really know how to, but they did get into contact with 
one another and now they are working on the project in tandem. Wasteland Overhaul of course is the mod that's aiming to add in a ton of content from previous Fallout games into Fallout 4. Obviously Fallout New Vegas in Fallout 4, now just Fallout 4 New Vegas does make a lot of sense to kind of work together on that project and thus yes again now they are working together. Deadpool 2099, the person behind the All-American, the first weapon I did show you is part of Wasteland Overhaul so I think we're just going to be seeing a lot of collaboration work going forward. Right now what they're working on is getting the New Vegas map working and actually being a playable world space that you can download and explore. Right now they're working on some of the different assets for Good Springs, that's what you're seeing in the background, and more specifically finishing Doc Mitchell's clinic. All around, I think this is really great news for both projects. I think Fallout New Vegas is a lot of people's favorite Fallout and the one they most long for getting content from in Fallout 4. More people behind the project means that the likelihood of it getting finished and of how fast it'll get finished just goes up and up, which is really cool to see. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. As always, I do hope you guys enjoyed. I thank you for watching again, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.